If you keep tissues on you, would you rather carry this pack or this pack? I'm gonna guess that if you sew, you're gonna want the prettier one made out of fabric. And all it takes is two scraps of fabric to make this beautiful tissue holder with a cute little trim. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, but there's one option that you have in making this. So these are made from the same size fabric. This one, I didn't make little box corners, so it sticks out a little bit more. This one, I added that box corner, so it's a little bit more finished and polished, but it does take a little bit more time. So if you're making a lot of them for stocking stuffers, teacher gifts, et cetera, and you just wanna crank them out, I would go with this way, because if people don't see this, they're not gonna know. Or if you just really wanna add that extra touch, I'm gonna show you how to do that too. Let's get started. The first thing we need are two pieces of fabric. They are both five and a half inches high with a one inch difference in the width. Six and a half inches wide and seven and a half inches wide. The wider one is going to be the lining. So you need a little bit extra to do the lining and this super cute little trim. So just remember whatever you want to be the main print of your tissue cover is the smaller piece. And then whatever you want to have on the inside and this trim accent piece is going to be the larger piece. Then we're simply going to line up one of these edges. We're gonna sew straight down there. It's gonna buckle a little bit, because again, they're not the same, the same length. We're gonna sew that other side as well. All right, once you have that sewn together, you'll see this part straight. This has got a little loop, so it's almost like a little cave. We are going to turn it right side out. And I don't press the seams open. I just kind of make sure they kind of fold in the same direction all along the seam, usually towards the smaller fabric. And you're just gonna get it flattened and kind of adjust it left and right so that these two sides are going to be even because that is going to be the accent. We're basically making the opposite of this one. So this is gonna be our main fabric we'll see and this is going to be the lining. Once you get that done, you're just gonna give it a little press. The next step is we are going to fold it so that they meet right in the center. And you can really eyeball that if you want to measure it. You can, you can mark the center, but I have found that just folding these in, you can really get a good feel for it without that extra step. Then I just finger press this. I'm gonna grab a pin and I'm gonna pin each side just to make sure that it is staying. And now we're gonna take that back to the sewing machine. Let's get these two seams sewn just with a straight stitch, a quarter of an inch from the edge, and I'm going to double back where they meet because that is gonna be your stress point for your tissue pack as you're putting full packs of tissues in and out of this holder. And now I'm just gonna repeat on the other side. So I took my scissors and I trimmed that so there's not a bunch of threads. And now we are going to put it down and do a zigzag stitch. I have mine set at 4.4 wide and about 1.5 stitch length because we're not doing applique, we're just edging this seam. Now, I'm also going to grab a little piece of fabric because sometimes when you wanna start right on the edge and you have like a couple layers, sometimes it kind of gets stuck. So I have found that putting another piece of fabric, so I'm gonna butt that right up next to it, and I'm gonna put that under my foot so that those feed dogs have something to grab onto that isn't part of what we're doing, but it's gonna help everything move a little bit more smoothly. I think they call it the guide fabric. There's some term for it, but I can't remember exactly what it is. Look right here, I'll look it up and I'll put it on the video. Let's do a little ziggy zaggy. That little piece of fabric worked great. You'll see it did not end up attached to the tissue at all. We have a beautiful zigzag that's gonna help with any fraying. Just gonna cut those threads off and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So this can be done. We can just turn it right side out, push those corners out, and we can have a great tissue cover. But I'm gonna show you the next step if you want to make the boxed corners like the original one that I showed you. So to do this boxed corner, we are going to pull this fabric out and make a triangle here. And then I'm just going to take a ruler and I'm going to mark 3 eighths of an inch, just draw a line, 3 eighths of an inch 
from the point. And I'm gonna sew on that, and I'm gonna do that for all four corners. Make sure you switch back to a straight stitch to do these box corners. And on each side, just make sure you have this seam folding the same direction so that that lays nice and flat instead of having it go like that and then you have this twist in there. So you'll see this takes a little bit longer because you're having to fold, mark, and stitch each of these corners. But as I said, it does give a little bit more finished look to it. So for something a little fancier, like a wedding, I would definitely take the time. But if I decided I wanted to make like 40 of these, I would probably not take the time. So now I have one with the box pleats that I just showed you. And then I also did another one that is plain. So let's get some tissues into these. Now, if you're using them for yourself, I would recommend or how, and how I like to do it is I just take all of the tissues out of the plastic and then I put them in the cover. But let me show you, there is a right and a wrong side to the pile of tissues. So this one, has both sides are folded. So that's the bottom. You wanna make sure the one where the tissue is gonna pop up is on top when you put them in your holder. So then I just put the one side in. This does fit nice and snug. It, it seems like it might not fit at first, but once you get it in there and smooth it out, it's perfect. Then I get the other side in. Like I said, just kind of adjust that a teeny bit. And look at how great that looks. You're not seeing any of the plastic there. So again, this is what I do if I'm using them for myself. But if you're going to be giving these to somebody or selling them, I would just leave them in the plastic and put the plastic in. And then the same way, but just keeping the plastic on. So now we have that and then the people can pull it out. But you'll see, you can kind of see that color in the UPC code. So I don't love it as much, but again, for others, you wanna do that. So now tell me which you prefer. Are you team, let's get it done fast and just have these edges a little bit pointy? Or are you, nope, I wanted a little more professional look and I'm going to take the time to do those box corners. Drop me a comment and let me know because I'm very curious which team will win. All right, happy sewing. Be sure to tag me on social media. If you make and post any of these, I would love to see what fabric combinations you choose.